Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, today I am going to get some babies changed and I want to participate in the um, tag that Susan's baby um, started, but I um, I found the tag from Bahamian Doll Lovers um, video. So I'm gonna answer, there's about 15 questions. So I'm gonna answer it, but I'm gonna get them changed. So I'm gonna move Kenya and I'm gonna put um, Aspen over here to get changed. And I don't know why I didn't have him out of his seat, but uh, come on, book. <laughs> it's funny, I had him all strapped in. All right, oh, you dropped your passy. Dropped your passy, dropped your passy, okay. Let's get him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He'll cuddle up. Oh, baby. He'll cuddle up to anybody. He don't care if they're just as little as him or not. <laughs> All right. Why change places? Change places. All right. This is the beauty of the two cribs. Works out for me. <laughs> um, all right. So the first question is, um, how long have you had your YouTube channel? And I had my channel since 2013. Um, the next question is, how long you've been collecting? I've been collecting Reborns um, uh, I've been collecting actual, like, Reborns and Silicone Babies, those type babies for, since, like, 2012, maybe, um, or 2000, yeah, about 2012, but I've only been collecting... I mean, but I've been collecting dolls, like, of course, all my life. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, that's that question. All right. The next question is, what got you started on the hobby? So, um, I, long time ago, long story short, basically, um, I just recently divorced and I had finally got myself to a place where I was feeling a lot more stable financially and I wanted to do something just for myself because I would always just only buy for the kids or you know the house and stuff like that and I was trying to think of something that I would like and want that would be you know just for me and the only thing i could think of is finding like a very realistic doll that i've always wanted um because um i don't know so i i started searching on google and then this picture popped up but when you clicked it it took you to ebay and then it started from there and so the first baby that piqued my interest was a um it was actually it was an old laura tuzo ross baby gosh what is her name it was one just on ebay not too long ago mm -mm -mm -mm. is it thandy oh no that was Adri story I think it, it might have it was one of the two I know those were like the first two that I seen that the artist had painted that I was like oh my god I love that one um so um that was that was what got me going and then I started looking at prices and you know what could I get in the price range that I was willing to pay for and it just you know it just kind of went from there and I just 
after that, I just really, um, I started collecting and it, it just got, I want to say worse. <laughs> um, what does your family think of it? So, um, my family, like I, my family doesn't really, they know I always collected dolls, I always loved dolls. So, um, they just think that's just whatever. And it, I've always been a little different. <laughs> Some may say weird, um, but I've always been a little different. I've never really did anything normal or like everybody else. <laughs> so, um, they don't, you know, they, I think they think that they are fascinating. Um, at first, you know, some people made comments like wanting to know how much they cost type thing and stuff like that. But I, my family, um, don't really have much input in my life, if that makes sense, though. So it's like, it, it's, you know, as people, you know, and family, I love them, but I don't really give them that much authority over my life. So I don't really know. I don't know what they think when they're not in my face, but most of them seem to be fascinated. And a lot of them like to show their friends and, you know, coworkers and stuff like that. My, you know, my pictures and stuff like that. Sometimes I get a message saying, hey, send me a picture of one of your dolls. I want to show my coworker or something like that. So I guess they're okay with it. Um, you know, of course, there's the ones that like to make comments about how much they cost. Um, have you got any other art, uh, hobbies? Um, uh, so, y yes, kind of. I mean, I love to write. Um, sometimes I, I don't write for months and long time periods. I'm going to move him because I'm going to, I'm going to change, um, the other Aspen, which is London. Mm. and um oh my gosh you look so sweet in that sleeper um so the um so yeah so sometimes I like to write I like to write short stories um I also love collecting odd wine glasses I also um I love collecting like uh, Bath and Body Work and Victoria's Secret, like um, uh, gel, <laughs> um, like, you know, the shower stuff, the bath stuff, fragrances. I used to have like a really huge collection and candles. I like to collect candles. And even though I don't like use them all the time, I like have a huge thing that's crazy amount of them in my collection i mean and so sometimes i give them away like to your family um but or my children but that's that's the other uh other thing that i like to do but other than that, i don't have any other like big hobbies um how many siblings do you have so Oof. Okay, so my father had five girls. I'm the oldest of the five. Um, and then my mom has... I have an angel sister. And I have... Which we are... And then I have one, two, three... Four, I don't know. I got about eight siblings. I don't even know that answer. I don't even know how to answer that because my mom's like always taking on more children. Um, but right now, like my mom has two in the house, one that she share uh, custody with, or yeah, and then so that's three, four. So so wait a minute. So that's four. Then five, then six, and then four. So ten. 
If you really want to count it all together, I have 10. Without getting into deep details, that's none of your business. But, um, so, um, what is your favorite flower? So, my favorite flower would be, I, I think I love roses, but I like white roses. Um, or like yellow roses like red roses are nice but I think I I tend to like lean towards more of the um like white roses and stuff like that I don't know I just like you know the something about a you know the white roses mm. Um, but I think I'll get all giddy. Like, um, my guy, um, he keeps me, um, roses planted in front of our house. And so I got a whole bunch of rose bushes because he knows I like roses. Um, have you ever seen a psychic medium or a fortune teller? So I thought, at first I thought that question was like, have you ever seen a psychiatrist? And I was going to say, yep. And I've been in a straight jacket before too. But <laughs> that's not what the question was. The question was, have you ever seen a psychic? And no, I haven't seen one, but I did call one once. Shut up. So I called one once um, when I was younger. And things were kind of rocky between me and my husband. And I wanted to know <laughs> if the psychic was seeing a future with us, okay? Don't, don't judge me, okay? I don't even remember what her answer was, but anyway. I thought she was, she was my friend after a while because I started calling her quite frequently until I got the charges on the phone bill. And he was like, what in the world is this? And I was like, I don't know who been playing on our phone. That definitely, I don't know, like, you know, and we, of course, we were the only, you know, people in our house, so it was, it was hard explaining that one, but yeah, I, I did call once, and I, I think that some people have natural gifts to see, um, things before they happen and stuff like that, but I think a lot of them that's, um, uh, exploiting money are not necessarily the ones with the gift i don't because i think the ones with the gift doesn't do it for money for the most part all right um what do you regret the most in your life so that is like a very very personal question but i'll try to answer it as best i can um i so I, I've always up until the last couple years lived my life with no regrets. And when I say that, it's not that I don't um, like hate that something happened or, you know, or hate that I, you know, felt like I did something wrong or shouldn't have did something. It's just that I always look at life as a big lesson and I always feel like I always learn something from it, good or bad. Even the people that I've met in my life that's, you know, really disappointed me or betrayed me or backstabbed me, hurt me, or even the people that I've hurt or, um, well, I don't really betray people, but I, people that I've hurt and, you know, did things to, um, I feel like those things had to happen for a reason so that that I could grow and learn from it. So I try to live my life without any regrets. So anything that I do, I just count it as a lesson. But there is one thing that I wish that I would have done, I, re I regret doing. And um, it was uh, not giving my time, myself time to really um deal with 
you know, a certain situation emotionally before I made such a drastic decision. So, um, I reacted out of raw emotions instead of letting myself calm down, letting things settle, and then, you know, really making the decision based solely off of, you know, the big picture long term and not just in that within that moment um and it was a forever changing um decision that i made and i just wish i hadn't made it um and if i really be honest with myself um there is another decision that i made to basically protect myself from someone else but I hurt myself in the end. So um, I wish I wouldn't have done that either because it it can't be reversed. So anyway, that's that. Now I get all emotional with dang on tag. Thanks, guys. Um, so anyway, <laughs> y'all know I'm a big emotional crybaby. Um, so do you believe in ghosts and spirits? I believe in spirits and I believe that... I don't necessarily, I don't know if you want to call them ghosts, but I do believe that there is something to that, that it does exist. Um, what is your favorite music? My favorite music is, oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know, because I, I don't really, I'm one of those people that really hate those real soppy love songs that, like, I have to be in the mood for it. I hate those love songs where, you know, it's always like, I'll do anything for you. Please come back to me. I hate begging songs, you know, where women just sound so desperate and thirsty for attention. Okay, sorry. All right, that's not what it, the question was, what I do like, not what I don't like. My favorite music is, I like like rap music I like when I, I like uh, I like that rough ragged music sometimes <laughs> and then sometimes I like like a good country song so but I really like that music that like get me hyped up get me out of the you know sad situation like I'll put on some Trina real fast <laughs> Oh my gosh, Queen Nausea, stuff like that. I like, I love that kind of stuff. Or, you know, and that's like, you know, in between soft music, but I'm into like plies and little bootsy and, um, oh my God, never mind. So, anyway, so that's that. What do you think more? What do you think? Who do you think is the most beautiful actress and fans? So. I used to always think Demi Moore and Jada, Jada Pickett was the most beautiful actress. And it's their eyes. And I also always thought they looked alike. Um, I always thought they looked like so much alike, just different. You know, their skin color is just different, but they always looked alike. And then later I figured out maybe it's because when I was younger, people used to say I looked like um, Jada Pickett. And my my cousin used to call me a broke down a broke broke down crackhead Jada Pickett is what he used to say <laughs> because I'd have no money. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that. Um, are you concerned about the climate change? I really don't know about that stuff to be honest. And I might sound real dumb, but I don't really look at the news and I don't really know about all that stuff. I just know that if it's hot, I need to put on shorts. And if it's cold, I need to put on a jacket and I don't need my feet out. Okay? So don't judge me. I know I sound simple. What has the lockdown taught you? Um, nothing. <laughs> what was it supposed to teach me? Um, I... I don't know because I don't go nowhere anyway so my lockdown really haven't taught me much of nothing to be honest um so what makes you laugh I make me laugh my life is a freaking joke just kidding <laughs> okay what makes me laugh um good comedy shows and I have to agree with Bahamian and Mama I love like um I love good comedy shows but like me like I'm one of those people that 
didn't really watch Friday. I still have not yet watched all the Fridays or Friday all the way through. Like people can quote Friday, the movie Friday, but I thought it was just overly stupid. Don't don't judge me. Um, but I like, you know, I do like, you know, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor and uh who else? Uh oh my gosh, what is his name that passed away? So I I love all of those like you know I think those you know the comedians you know are are funny I like um you know the good old shows um I think you know Three's a Company and um Cheryl and all that stuff and the Jeffersons and Good Times and all that stuff is funny I don't you know I don't know so that's me so yeah I like to watch a good comedy you know movie i think that's funny i think watching little children play and talk certain sassy little kids i think they are funny i think they bring a lot of joy and laughter <laughs> in the room when you know things are going on but i don't like too many of them because they get on my nerves and they gotta go home they can't stay long but um yeah so that's that's pretty much it um guys so i think i answered all the questions um I'll see if I can do the same thing as they did, which copied the questions in the description bar for you guys. And hopefully this video don't get lost. Something's been going on with my stuff. It's been like deleting and stuff. So this is like 20 something minutes. I'm going to be real upset if it don't work. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also, um... Follow me on MissRendingBabies.com and make sure you subscribe and click the like button and comment below if you enjoyed this tag. And thank you Susan Babies for the questions.